Hello and welcome to channel 48. My name is Buck. Thank you for tuning in. Well, today I'm here with a Samsung Galaxy Advance, the i9070, not the P, the 9070. And uh, I'm restoring it back to official firmware, to I think Jelly Bean it was. And then we're gonna upgrade it to a higher build. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And this will be a totally different method uh, than, than you have been taught in the past and you learned in the past. And this is, you know, Android has many secrets and you will never know if you don't find them out. And sometimes by just trying something, you, you discover something new. So I'm gonna show you how to, in fact, without any tool, upgrade this phone to a custom custom ROM. So normally you would have to go and search for root file and for clockwork mod, but these files, they were all posted to devhost.st and that site, we all know what became uh, from that site. I already made a video about that site, what it became. So now it's gonna go into the recovery and it's gonna probably show me some red lines and then we gonna do the thing so I'm gonna put you on the tripod but um, yeah there are many secrets in Android that you will not know if you did not discover them so let's start from here because in fact I just restored to official stock and we're gonna go from there so I'm gonna show you how to fix these red lines we're gonna start into the to the to the official firmware so you can see that it works and then I'm gonna you know upgrade this phone with the custom ROM without installing clockwork mod or twerp and you know what's the coolest of it we're gonna end up with clockwork mod or depending on the ROM that we're gonna install twerp without we ever installed it or ever downloaded it this is fantastic way I think this is the super pro way how to upgrade the Galaxy Advance i9070 <music> about the red lines that you see here this is just a matter of uh, wipe data factory reset you know delete all user data boom make sure you already have your micro SD card installed with uh, with the files that you that you're gonna the ROM that you want to install okay so now now I can reboot the phone and the phone will boot into the uh, the firmware that we just installed. Let, let's just do that. Let me show you that this is a Galaxy Advance. You know, nothing uh, tricked about it. This is just, we just did the official restore. Should give a little sound in a second. Du -du 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 -du. Always nice to hear this sound. And sometimes, for instance, with the Galaxy S5, it stays very long on the screen. That you almost might believe that the thing won't boot up but uh, with the advance it doesn't take too long i also have a sim card installed so whatever we're gonna do will also uh, yeah will not let us lose any sim possibility phone at least i hope you will have to see And we just let the phone boot and then we're gonna go back into a recovery into the stock recovery and then we're gonna do the magic the magic the magic I'm gonna see some magic today my friends this is Dutch magic Dutch magic from Suriname, yeah, well, and this is very special what you're gonna see. So, don't skip this video. Hey, sit down, don't you touch that player, just wait and see what's gonna. Mm, 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 mm. Hello, hello, bonjour, ça va? 
Start it. Uh, there we go. Skip. No. No. It's just fine. Hey, I don't want to name. Don't worry. My name is not Adam Curry. So what we just did is a clean install, so, yeah. So you're gonna see the process, uh, the procedure, how it should be from the very start, okay? And all the tools that you need will be available for you. So you will be doing something fantastic, huh? fantastic. Are you ready to see the magic? Okay, let me get you a little bit closer here because some of you want to see this magic. As you can see, we have 3G, we have uh, phone, is, we have phone, I think. Uh, do we, is our phone working? Let me register the phone card real fast because I did not register it yet. Thank you. Well. Okay, so let's just reboot, guys, and let me show you some magic here. I'm just gonna hold the volume up and the home button down. Make sure to do it whenever these lights go off. Yes, there we go. That's we had the bus and we see the logo we let go and this should bring us into the stock recovery here we go so this is as you can see this is the android system recovery this is the stock recovery so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna do a wipe data factory reset yeah i'm gonna wipe all user data Yeah, and then I'm gonna say apply update from external card and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this ROM here it's uh, a AOSP ROM it's the Carbon Janice KitKat 4.4.2 and this will be used as a bridge. This will give us uh, a good clockwork mod uh, on the phone. Plus it will install the ROM. Okay, so what you're seeing now is an install that is being done with the official recovery from Samsung. Okay, look what is happening. Have you ever seen a thing like this? <laughs> Look at that. These guys from Carbon, they are boss, 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 boss. So you don't need no clockwork mod or anything to get started. You don't have to root nothing. You can just select the ROM and, and go ahead and install it. At least this ROM, okay? I'm not saying that it will work for every ROM. I was just lucky to found, find out that, that this ROM worked fine without even yeah doing anything we did not install twerp we did not install no clockwork mod there we go boom 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 and it's installed so what i'm gonna do now guys is i'm just gonna reboot the phone okay and then I'm gonna hold on, hold up the volume and the home, press again, and I let go whenever I see the logo. And now you're gonna see, we did not install any clockwork mod, but now we're gonna have clockwork mod. You see that? Now we have the recovery that came with that RAM. And from here, we can go everywhere. Now we are in the promised land. So in fact now, uh, thanks to this bridge that we had, now we can say uh, wipe data factory reset again. Okay, yes, wipe all user data. 
So at this point, we never used any super sue, any anything we, we used, nothing like that. And we're gonna have root when, whenever this, this ins install is done. Now we're gonna install, and we're gonna install my Pukrom, okay? That was blessed by Apirex. He's the man of the ROM. He created the, the engine. The engine is all from him. Okay. I only did the dressing. The dressing and, you know. The things. The things that must be done. You see that? So there we go. And uh, we're installing my puck ROM at this moment. As you could see, uh, we never installed no clockwork mod. So whoever wants to do this, you don't need clockwork mod. You don't need no root super suit, not, nothing like that. You don't need nothing like that. Only thing you need is a ROM that will, you know, uh, be some bridge. You're gonna use it as a bridge. You know, sometimes you must pass a river and then at the other side of the river, the land is nice and fruits and everything is there. You know that while, yeah, you don't have the tools to, 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 to build that bridge. So how are you gonna get to the other side? So what I did, in fact, I used, I used the carbon rum only to get me clockwork mod. On this phone because that carbon room is way easier to find than that clockwork mod file that is hosted at dev 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 host.st that crazy site you know that hijacked all the roms from the developers that posted and you know what is so bad about it uh, that site is getting a, a whole lot of clicks eh, every day and then you got some message your computer has been infected don't try to turn it off otherwise you're gonna get you're gonna lose your files you must call this number now let me help you so yeah out f4 and that page will be closed you know you won't lose any file it's just bullshit it's just a pop-up banner that is having some uh some 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 deal with 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 uh with these pop block pop-up uh blocking sites you know these guys it's mafia organization man so now we're gonna reboot the phone we did it we are done so we upgraded from stock here we just gonna say no because there's nothing we don't we didn't install no root so yeah we don't do nothing like that we just gonna boot up the phone it takes a second to boot because it's realizing that it was installed with a custom recovery that while the recovery now from the phone now that we updated to to my puck room this thing will now have to work it is at this point it's looking just like a little iPhone 4 that is booting up. The black boot animation looks great with this black phone. It looks really solid like... Tja, beautiful. Amazing. Good. There was a little bus. And it's gonna update the applications. So you learned in this video that no Samsung Galaxy Advance should be out there on, on Android 4.1.2. So yeah, this phone is, uh, is now upgraded to Android 6 and you can go to 7 now and to 8 and to 9. There's even a 9 in the making. So uh, soon, yeah, I'm gonna show that as well. But for now, I wanted to really show you this beautiful ROM that I have special and only for this phone. Okay, here we can select Wi-Fi. We're gonna skip. Okay, SIM card is missing. It should not be missing. It should be there, SIM card. And we're gonna start, and the SIM card is there. You see that SIM card is found. That was just to scare me a little bit. Do you want the iOS launcher to access your contacts? Say allow. Do you want it to access your location? Say deny. 
Do you want to access your file? Say allow. Now you're good to go. And there you are, my friends. The most beautiful iOS launcher ever. Only thing that you must do is set it up a little bit. So let's do that real fast. The sounds, iOS sounds, I also have in this in this room. It's a beautiful room. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go to the um, to the settings. Well, let's first go to the themes. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna select this one here. This one. And then you just enable it. You just hit that little green pen there. Okay. Like that. And then you just wait a second. And uh, it's by... This guy has the same name like my friend Deng. Nguyen. 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 And then you are done. So now you can go back to um, to your home screen. Yeah. You go to your settings. Hocus Pocus Pass. Pilates Pass. I wou dat deze telefoon beautiful was. En there you go. En we just upgraded the settings part. En hier you can see beautiful, beautiful, colorful settings in this beautiful iOS ROM. I think this is the final CM13 iOS ROM that I will uh, uh, create or that I will mod and share with you guys. Because this is the last and the best and the most beautiful ever shared by me so yeah thumbs up to yeah thumbs up to to who to you all right beautiful so that's how to do it my friends one more thing my friends one more thing one more thing about the phone build number you tap it until it says you have enabled development developer settings and then you go to the options you turn on advanced reboot and you set root to apps only and now you have root access that while we never rooted the phone you see this room was pre-rooted that's why so yeah guys that is how to upgrade your samsung galaxy s advanced i9070 and the 9070 I think should be the same way um, to a higher build of Android without downloading any tool yeah. that's how to do it in 2018 well you could see it I did not lie this was beautiful install we didn't need no clockwork mod no twerp no root super so nothing like that we only needed a ROM that we use as a bridge we installed it with the official recovery from this phone from samsung so samsung thumbs up for that big up to you man that that this worked amazing i never thought a thing like that was possible i think nobody ever tried it because they always said these things are not possible but as you can see you can flash a custom room with the official stock recovery from samsung I hope that this video helped out and cleared out some things. If you can explain why this all worked, let me know in the comments. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel only if you're gonna hit the notifying bell so you're gonna get the update whenever I upload one of my beautiful tricks again. Thank you for watching. This was Puck Darlington Channel 48 and I'm signing out with my Galaxy Advance at exactly one minute past 10.